It says, after this, Jesus knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. As we look at this text here, it simply reminds us of the fact, like Pastor Kaiser has said, that Jesus has now simply accepted the full stage of humanity. But at no point did he lose his full power in divinity. For we all know that John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. But as you move a little down further to chapter verse 14, it says, And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory. Glory as the only begotten of the Father. So we now know that God has simply wrapped himself in flesh. Because he knew somebody had to be perfect to be the sacrifice for him. He looked all around. He could find nobody that could fit the bill. So sometimes when you want the job done right, you've got to. So when he says in this text, I thirst, this represents the total humanity of Jesus. Most of us honest folk in this place can relate with the fact that when your flesh cries out, sometimes you do anything and everything to satisfy yourself. Some of us understand that when there's something that is pulling us or driving us, there's something that makes us want to satisfy ourselves at all costs. But I want us to understand that Jesus now is here and he's near to the end of his natural life. He's coming close to when he realizes that it's all about to be over. And at this point, he has now been hanging on the cross for near six hours. I'm so glad that none of us was Jesus because, first of all, we would have called a timeout and gotten off the cross. And when we say I'm thirsty, I need some water. Give me some water. But it's never said you would have got off. You would have got off. But I'm so glad here that Jesus allowed himself to go through some uncomfortable situations in order to provide me with a comfortable eternity. We would not have endured what Jesus endured. No. We would have said, I'm not going to stay here and go through all this for folk that don't want to pray. I'm not going to stay here on the cross for folk that can't fast. No. He knows all. So he knew that we would not receive his word and we'd do our own thing and live our own ways. But he still decided to go through the tough times. But let me remind you for a second how Jesus got to this point. For it was just a few days ago that we were celebrating, and he had entered into Jerusalem with the crowds when they were waving the palms. It is this point where they laid the palms out before him, and in Jerusalem, the palms symbolized victory. So at this time, immediately after a great time, and immediately after the celebration, here comes the cross. Anybody here know that life can pitch you very fast? For one day, they can be singing, Hosanna! But the next day, they can be shouting, crucify him. Well, it was just Palm Sunday, but now Jesus find him, finds himself hanging high, and they stress me why. He was just being celebrated, but now he has nails in his hands and in his feet. He was simply being called a king, but now he's being mocked and he's being laughed at. And I'm, not, I'm not sure about you, but I know good well I'm not going to die for none of y'all when y'all won't serve me. I'm simply not going to shed not one drop of blood for anybody in this room that you can't praise me when you come to my house. But I'm so glad that even when we come here tonight and some of us don't want to praise him, he still shed his blood. I'm so glad that even when we don't want to act right, he thirsts, but he did not come down off the cross and satisfy himself, but he endured the pain so that I might receive my promise. Somebody ought to talk to me here. He groaned upon the tree. Amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light. And the burdens of my heart, they rolled away. It was there by faith that I received my son. And now I'm happy all the day. I come to 
to tell you, I want to thank y'all for the time you've given me. But the clock on the wall says, it's about time for me to go. And I've had fun, but before I run, I want to let you understand as we examine the cross. Well, you see, the cross has four points. Mm -hmm. No matter which way you turn it, it always points back to you. And if you're up, the, point, the cross will still find you. If you're over here, the cross can still find you. Uh, if you're over there, the cross can still find you. But my best observation of the cross is the longest part of the cross is the one that points down. For you see, I was the one that was down in the house. I wasn't up over here or over there. But the cross here is down in the dirt and it's down on the ground. For you see, when I was down because he endured the cross, they say it was his love that lifted me. When nothing else could help, it was his love that lifted me. How is it that a torture tool, how is it that the cross can represent torture at the same time it represents hope? Who was it, y'all, that made the cross represent death at the same time it represents life? There's some great man out there that the cross represented pain, but after he endured it, it represents a healing. It was the cross, y'all, that represented despair, but at the same time, it means joy unspeakable and full of glory. It is the cross, y'all, that represents a punishment. At the same time, you can receive a reward. It is the cross here that represents a struggle, but at the same time, it means peace that passes all understanding. It is the cross here that represents the end, but it can be the beginning of your life. How is it, y'all, that the cross can represent the blood? At the same time, it means love. How is it, y'all, that the cross can represent execution? At the same time as what I got salvation, it's because Jesus endured the pain. It's because Jesus endured the beatings. And it's because he first and didn't come down from the cross. That's why I know it was the blood for me. Oh, it reaches to the highest mountain. And it flows to the lowest valley. I come to tell you, it is the blood that gives me strength from day to day. And it shall never, not with a problem, it will never, no matter the sickness, it will never, no matter the sound loss, it will never, no matter the economy, it will never, no matter who laughs, it will never, no matter who lies, it will never, it will never lose its power. Somebody clap your hands in here if the blood has saved you. Jesus on the cross, and the blood 